name is Jared and uh, today I'm going to uh, show you a Benetti machine and you're looking at it right now at the bottom you have a handle with uh, two pulleys which turn two cords one is crossed which turn two large uh, acrylic discs in uh, opposite directions with each other um, out to the sides of the disc you see these uh, foil combs that act as neutralizers and off to the sides you see paper combs with the U-shaped uh, copper bars and those act as the uh, output combs. And here is the output terminals right here. Using capacitors, large 9-inch uh, sparks can be created uh, and uh, as the capacitors discharge. The difference between this device and modern electrical devices is that a modern electrical generator like the one that you take to your camp house that runs on a small gasoline motor or the generator that is used by the power plant to create power for your home, basically they use a conductor moving through a magnetic field or rather a magnetic field moving in reference to the conductor. Anyway, basically when a conductor moves through a magnetic field or a magnetic field moves across a conductor, a current is created in the conductor and what results generally speaking is a relatively low voltage and a relatively high current. This device here is opposite in a lot of respects. It uses moving charges to uh, create high voltages at relatively low currents. Well, r very high voltages at very low currents really is what it amounts to. Basically, static electricity, <laughs> except it's a continuous source of it. Uh, early static experiments done in the Benjamin Franklin era and in the 1700s and so forth were done using frictional generators, which were just basically a, a, a common uh, continuous moving part that rubbed against a piece of wool or something to create a charge. This device, however, however uses um, uses a charge on one disc to induce a charge on the opposite disc and the way it works is right here the sections here and the sections at the bottom are oppositely charged this side is charged one way the other side is charged the other way but out to the sides both discs on the outside are charged the same but one is charged one way, positive on this side, and negative on that side. So what you're doing is you uh, reduce the areas of capacitance right here by moving the charges out to the sides. You're basically increasing the voltage. And so to the sides of the machine appears a very, very high voltage because the capacitance is very, very low compared to the sections at the top and the bottom between the neutralizer combs. So what I'm going to show you next is going to be what happens when the high voltage is used to charge me up. I'm going to be standing on an insulating surface here and you're seeing the positive terminal, the one with the large ball and then the tiny ball at top of the large ball. Um, it's the one uh, furthest away. You're looking at the side of the machine here. I'll see if I can get myself here in view. Okay, very well. 